I have become Barcelona's manager in FC25 with a promise to win the Champions League. But we started the season not very well, with a single win and three draws. And we need to get back to winning ways. For that we have a game against Girona in the La Liga. So let's try to grab all three points. Guys, we need this win, desperately, to stay in the title race. And soon we got the real chance to open the score. De Jong releases Yamal on a flank. He does have an opportunity to open the score for us. Yamal finesses it and Casaniga with the save. Rafinha tries to find Lewandowski. He has a chance to score here. Lewandowski, near Paul score, 1-0. The second goal for Robert Lewandowski. In the second half, we managed to double our lead after a terrific attack. It was Rafinha who netted the second of the night. But Girona was not ready to give up yet. Oof, Suane could have got one back there, but Mark andre Deistegen with a save. Then we conceded one of the most bizarre penalties ever. Sorry, what? A handball, I guess. I am a little bit confused. Why is that a penalty? Let's see one more time what has happened here. Cross comes in, he tries to clear the ball. Okay, I guess he fouled Hector Ford, and that's why Girona got the penalty. Tsigankov get one back here, however in the dying seconds of the game we managed to score one more time. Fati plays back to Lewandowski, Lewandowski shoots and Lewandowski scores his second of the night. So we got our second win of the season, just before the Monaco game in the Champions League. We does have new format here, it is a league table format and we are going to play 8 games and we aim to finish the league phase in the top half of the table to be qualified for the knockouts directly. This is the lineup to go in our first ever Champions League game. We created the first goal scoring opportunity of the game. Frinky de Jong with an unbelievable cross, Rafinha back to Lewandowski, what I go from us, our star man scores once again. AS Monaco replied 10 minutes later with their chance. One more pass to Golovin. Kubarsu with a slight tackle and that was a penalty. But we have Ter Stegen in goal. Try to get it? Yes, Ter Stegen with a save. However, Monaco continued to create brilliant goal scoring opportunities one after another. He lost the ball there, Minamino and Mark andre Ter Stegen with another beautiful save. That pressure from Monaco eventually cracked our defense and Zegrova equalized the score after Balogun's assist. However, the last attack of the game goes to us. Balde tries to find Rafinha. He does have some space here, Rafinha. Can he score this one? He tries, but goalkeeper with a save. Referee blows a whistle for full time. We just get lucky not to lose this game. After a couple of big wins in the La Liga against Villarreal and Hetafe, we suffered our first loss of the season from Osasuna of all teams. And after 8 games we have only 15 points and we are 4 points behind Real Madrid already. How did Leganes manage to win 5 out of 6 games? Pretty impressive stuff from Leganes. Anyways, let's check what we have in our youth academy. In three months of scouting in Spain for center defensive midfielder, we found Gustavo Ramos. He looks somewhat decent with almost 1 million market value and up to 94 potential. Let's sign him and check his stats. Gustavo Ramos is currently 59 rated center defensive midfielder and he does have plus for deep line playmaker, holding and center half roles. He is definitely the best talent that we have seen in these three months. Next up we are going back to pitch to play our second game in the Champions League against the young boys at Montjuic. After the stall first half, we finally managed to create a goal scoring opportunity in the 55th minute. Lewandowski and De Jong, he got himself one on one with the keeper, he scores! First goal of the night, Frankie De Jong! Oh boy how we needed that goal! And the young boys managed to equalize the score right from the kickoff. But we were not done yet. Ferran Torres from the middle. Can he score there? Yes, Ferran Torres with our second of the night. And that was enough in the end. We got our first win in the Champions League against the Young Boys. Only 2-1. That was pretty tough game. I was expecting way less resistance from Swiss team. But anyways, we got the win with a clutch goal from Ferran Torres in the 77th minute. We are currently sitting on the 6th position in the Champions League. But there are still 6 games to go. Right now, we need to fix our youth academy. To replicate what Lamas 
at us. In real life, we are two more 5 star 5 star scouts. Now we have three available scouts and we are going to send them to a three month scouting mission to find the next best players for Barcelona. First one, we are heading to Argentina to find some right wingers and camps with white playmaker role and a shadow striker role. With these instructions, we are trying to replicate the roles on a pitch of Leo Messi. Next up, we are heading to Uruguay to find some strikers with a target forward and advanced forward roles. And last but not least, our third scout will be looking for rising talents in France for a center mid position. But before that, let's jump to the youth tournament and test out our players in new rush mode. Let's see what this mode is all about. Flores can he score here? Flores with a shot and our first goal in rush mode. So far, this mode feels very refreshing. It is not a replication of Volta. It is way different than any other mode in FC 25 or in previous FIFA series. I think you are going to love it, guys. Ramos. Whoa! Great finish from Ramos. He does look exceptionally good compared to other players on a pitch. And he is only 59 rated. Ivanov. Ivanov against Ivanov. And Ivanov saves Ivanov's shot. And the best thing about this rush mode with Youth Academy is that you are getting connected with the players that you have been scouted for before they made even debut for your team. We did win our first game in rush tournament, let's try to win the whole tournament. But we sadly did not manage to do that as we lost our second game to Leganes Youth Academy team. And here we got maybe the most important game in the first half of the season. We are playing against Bayern Munich in the Champions League and we need to get the revenge for our previous losses. But sadly, Bayern Munich were simply unstoppable on the field. Paulo Dybala with a fantastic incisive pass to Leroy Zane and Bayern got the opener. Near the end of the first half, we got a chance to equalize the score. Rafinha with a chance to score and Martinez with a save. Right in the beginning of the second half, Bayern doubled the lead with Kingsley Coman. A shambolic defending from our players. How did he manage to pass through our defense so easily? Soon Bayern scored the third goal as well. We are getting humbled big time by Bayern Munich. And a fourth goal from Harry Kane as well. 4 nil. I think my job is on the line after this loss. And from bad to worse, our next game is the first El Clasico of the season at Santiago Bernabeu. But no guys, we got fitness issues. Ronald Araujo does not have any stamina left as well as Lamin Yamal so Ferran Torres had to come in instead of Lamin Yamal and as expected Lanco started the game aggressively Real Madrid on the break it is almost definitely a goal the Vinicius Junior shoots and Mark under Ter Stegen with a save Valverde to Kylian Mbappe so much pace from Kylian Eric Garcia can he stop him of course he can't and Kylian Mbappe opens the score this goal was coming to be fair you can see Carlo Ancelotti is happy than ever nice in the 62nd minute, we got our first chance of the night. Rafinha, can he score there? No, he misses the target. That was our best opportunity yet. Rodrigo once again. What can he do there? No. And Christensen, what a tackle that was. Eventually, Real Madrid won the game. They have pretty much Galacticos 2.0. And they deserve to win tonight. I'm not very sure why Erling Haaland won the Ballon d'Or for 2024, but I guess we take it. None of the Real Madrid players won it, and this is a bit of a relief. Yeah, yeah. Let's check the reports from our youth scouts. In Uruguay, we managed to find this guy, Julian Mosquera, only 15 years of age, 5.6 left footed, 625,000 market value. But he does have brilliant potential up to 94. He is right away 56 rated right winger with play styles of dead ball and relentless. And he does also have secondary position of striker. And with 34 yeah. dribbling, I think we need to move him from the wing to center. That's why I'm going to convert him to a striker. It will take 46 weeks. How does it even possible he does have striker as a secondary position? I guess the only reason is that this player does not use his head. He has 15 mm -hmm. head accuracy. Anyways, let's try to convert him to a striker. But the most exciting talent that we have found is from Argentina, Fran Ramirez. 2.5 million market value, 80 to 94 potential. He's already 17 years old, 64 rated center midfielder with 5 star skill moves. I mean his stats suggest that he is much of a winger or a striker. He does have great agility and balance, good acceleration and stamina, as well as decent finishing. So let's convert him to a right winger. We did 
did play yet another youth tournament with two South Americans that we have just signed in the lineup. And old boy Ramirez had an absolute fun in this tournament. He is really a generational talent. I can't wait to use him in the senior team. Where we does have a little issue with right winger. I think Laminia Mal is still too young and he needs a mentor. A player who played in the right wing for Barcelona before. And I do have some particular player in my mind. So let's try to sign him in January transfer window.